Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're new here and have never seen my face before. My name is Natalie. Welcome. Take a seat. Subscribe. Probably should subscribe. <laughs> so if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here as a subscriber and you get to come back and watch my videos every week. I post every Sunday so you will not regret clicking that subscribe button. So today I thought I would bring back an old school YouTube video because I love old school YouTube and some of those videos were classic and I just thought I'd bring one of them back. In today's video I'm going to be doing a draw my life. I've always wanted to do one of these videos since I like first saw them like years ago and I'm finally doing one today and I'm so excited. If you enjoy this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'm just gonna get started drawing my life, explaining my life story and I'm really excited. Let's just get started. My story starts on the 16th of July 2002. This is the day I was born and I was born in the morning and my parents named me Natalie, obviously. <laughs> um, and yes, yeah, so I just have my dad, my mom, and my brother in my family. And they were very happy to have me in there. But I was born perfectly healthy and my mom really wanted a girl. She prayed about it and God gave her a girl, um, me. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. I grew up in my family home with my mum, dad and my brother and I had a really happy childhood which I'm really thankful for because I know that is not always the case but my brother and I were pretty close when we were younger. My brother is older than me but only by two years so we were still really close when we were little. We would always play together, we would pick fruit off our trees, we have like lemon trees and we would climb those trees and we also had bikes that we would ride down this hill in my backyard and we would do that literally every day. It was so fun and it was also so fast, like the bike would pick up speed so fast, it was like insanely fast. <laughs> Then in 2007, I started preschool or kinder and I honestly don't really remember that much from kinder because I was so young, but I do remember that I didn't really have that many friends and I think I hung out with myself a lot. That's actually really sad, but I do remember that there was this group of people who were in my kinder and I remember I was really sad because I wanted to be in their group but I, they wouldn't let me hang out with them. So a lot of the time, I think I was like really sad. So <laughs> um, come a long way from there. But then I actually made a friend with this girl and we were so close. We were basically inseparable. We would do like everything together. She was essentially my first friend and we would do everything together. I felt so happy to finally have a friend. She was basically my best friend in kindergarten and I just felt so happy to finally have a friend but sadly we lost connection after kinder and I've never seen her since so that's really sad. Then the next year in 2008 I started primary school or elementary school and I remember I was so excited to finally start big school. I was a little bit nervous because I was a really shy kid. But I remember I was really excited to start this new adventure. So I started prep in 2008, which is basically the first grade. But it's like not called first grade. Again, I don't remember a lot because it was a while ago. But I do remember on the first day I actually met my best friend. Who is still my best friend to this day. Which is actually like amazing but we did sit next to each other on the first day of school if you've seen my best friend tag you will probably already know this story but I sat next to her on the first day of prep and we just became like best friends and we started competing against each other to see who would finish our work first but Amy I know you're probably watching this and I love you so much you're literally the best person in the entire world and yeah we're just became BFFs um, still to this day and I love her so much. The years just rolled by in primary school. Primary school was honestly like 
one of the fun times in my life. A lot of people hated primary school, but I loved primary school. I made a lot of friends who I still am friends with to this day. And then in 2014, I graduated. I wrote 2015, but trust me, it was 2014. And I graduated year six, so I graduated from primary school. And I remember I was so excited, but I was also really sad at the same time. But it was a really exciting time in my life. Here's me realizing I messed up the date and it's meant to be 2014, so <laughs> there you go. Then in 2015, I started high school. I started year seven at my high school that I'm currently still at. I remember I was so nervous, but I was so excited to make new friends and just be at a new school. I was super shy back then and not as confident, so I was very nervous. But I had pretty mixed emotions. I was feeling excited but also kind of scared. <laughs> At our school, pretty much as the year seven start, they go off in a camp just to get to know each other a bit better and have it at a more relaxed environment. So we headed off on this camp and I remember I was feeling so nervous because I didn't really know anyone and I was split up from my friends from primary school. On this camp, I did meet one of my friends who is one of my closest friends to this day and she knows who she is so she's probably laughing watching this. But basically we met at these benches and we just started talking and I remember telling her that these aren't my normal clothes because I was wearing really ugly camp clothes and I didn't want her to judge me so I told her these aren't my normal clothes, they're just my camp clothes and it was pretty funny and that's how we met. High school was and is going really great because I'm still technically at high school but I'm really enjoying it which is surprising because it's like most of the time I don't like school but anyway um, in 2017 I went on a camp our school does this survival camp and this was such a funny camp I had two of my really great friends with me and it was honestly just like one of the best times in my life um, look at this drawing yeah that hair <sighs> Yep, look, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, this camp was so funny. I just made so many incredible memories and I loved camping with two of my closest friends. We laughed so many times and yeah, I hope they're watching this right now because it would just be so funny. In 2017, I decided to do something that I had been wanting to do for a very long time and this happened in July around my birthday and that thing was to finally start my YouTube channel and I uploaded a get ready with me for my birthday for my first video but then I just started filming heaps of videos and I started getting content out there. I was quite nervous about filming and uploading my first video because I had told so many people at school about it and I just like hyped it up to make it such a big thing and I wanted to live up to those expectations so I just started making videos and there's me saying hey guys welcome to my YouTube channel. Love that. <laughs> so last year in 2018 I was in grade 10 and I think this was honestly one of the best years for me in my life. I just learned so much about myself and I think it was just a really great year for me. I found a really close group of friends who I absolutely adore and they're just amazing and I'm so happy that I found them and I've gotten closer with them. I think it was a massive step up since 2017 and I just learned so much about myself and I learned about happiness and growth and it was honestly just the best year. And that pretty much brings us to where we are now in 2019 and I just hit 1000 subscribers just yesterday as I'm filming this on the 31st of January and this has been a goal since the start. I just wanted to say thank you so much for helping me achieve this. I love you guys with all my heart and I'm honestly just so grateful. I know it's not a massive number, but it still does mean the world to me since it's been a goal of mine since the start. So that pretty much brings us to where we are now. I have no idea what the future has in store for me, but I know God's got it. So I've just got to trust him. But I just want to say thank you all so much for the incredible support and I hope you do continue to support me. I love each and every single one of you and your continuous support makes me so happy and I just want to say thank you all so much. Keep spreading love and kindness. Always choose love above everything else and I just want to say thank you. I love you and I will see you soon.
So that was pretty much my life story up until now. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. The button's down below. It's just that big red button. Just click it and you'll be a subscriber. And then also turn on my post notifications. It's just the little bell next to the subscribe button. Just click that and then you'll get notified every time I upload something new. So you will never miss a video because who wants to miss a video? Not me. <laughs> and with all that being said, I will see you guys next week with another video. God bless. Bye.